In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear children, most welcome to the first Sunday of Christmas, and Merry Christmas, dear children. My name is Dorothy Atire Sonko, and it's a joy that we are here together to pray together, to learn together, and most importantly also to grow together in our faith and also in the love of God. Today is a very special Sunday. It is known as Sunday of the Holy Family. We pray that God of love, through your Son, Jesus Christ, you offer yourself to us so that we are able to live well, to know you, to love you, and to serve you. We shall have our opening prayer. Yes, Jesus. the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Almighty God, we thank you for the gift of all these little children. We pray to the dearest God as we celebrate the feast of the Holy Family. Grant us the grace to love you and to do your will. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today, we are glad to have the children from Tororo Diocese. As we have seen them welcome us give us a very beautiful song and also to prepare us for these prayers 
and so they are going to help us to animate the program with very beautiful teachings, very beautiful lessons, great sharings with all the joy of Christmas. Today in the Gospel according to Luke chapter 2 verse 41 to 51 we shall hear more about the life of Jesus, Jesus as a child. Let us pay attention so that we are able to listen well. As we have had the gospel, we shall continue to learn more from the teaching of this gospel 
and it is going to be presented by the children of Tororo Diocese. As we wait to hear from them, one thing that is important, dear children, that we should always remember is that the Holy Family of Jesus, Mary and Joseph is a model family. It is a family where Jesus was able to grow. It is a family where Jesus was protected from all harm, from all dangers. And it is in that family that the child Jesus was able to grow in wisdom, character, and favor before God and man. So as we listen in, let us pray also for our families that through the intercession of Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, our families too may be able to follow in that example of the Holy Family. The Holy Family of Jesus as a child, Mary as the mother, and Joseph as the father. Let us hear the lessons. We are the children of God. Today we celebrate the feast of the Holy Family of Mary, Joseph, and Jesus. Like you have heard in the Gospel, Mary and Joseph present the child Jesus to God in the temple. We are told that it, it was the first time to do so. We also learned that when the parents go back home, they think that Jesus is with Alan, only to discover after they have reached home that he is missing. They search for him among friends and relatives, but they don't find him. So they go back to Jerusalem, where they met him, asking and answering questions to the teachers. Mary is shocked. She asks why he has done that that to them. But Jesus' answer is, why were you looking for me? Didn't you know I should be in my father's house? What, the, what does this mean, dear friends? It meant that Jesus had a mission to fulfill on earth. He was supposed to be in his father's house. He had to be obedient to God. We also learned that after he was obedient to his parents, and went home with them. What does this mean, dear friends? It means that as children of God, we must, be, we must also be obedient to our parents. Jesus advanced in age and wisdom. So, dear friends, let us together pray that God will grant us the grace to be obedient to him and to our parents. Let us also ask for the, for the gift of wisdom. My dear friends, which Sunday do we celebrate today? We celebrate the feast of the Holy Family of Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. From which book is the Gospel? From the Gospel is according to St. Luke. Where did the parents go for the Passover? The A 
memory verse is from the gospel according to Luke chapter 2 verse 47. All who heard him were amazed at his intelligent answers. All who heard him were amazed at his intelligent answers. This means that the child Jesus was able to grow in wisdom, in intelligence, and that is why the people in the temple were so amazed. They were surprised that they could learn from a young child. So children, we too have something we can teach others. We pray that God helps us to grow in wisdom, in intelligence, just like the child Jesus. And as we are going to have our prayer intentions, mostly we pray for all the children in the world that God provides for them. And in a special way, as we prepare to go to school, that all parents are able to get school fees for the children. And when children reach at school, you will be able to learn well and you'll be protected from all dangers, from all diseases, mostly COVID, and you'll be happy at school. That should be our prayer today. Amasi, Lord, Amasi. A prayer for the church, that the Almighty God may bless all, all church leaders in the work they are doing in the world's vineyard. We pray to the Lord. That the Lord may give them wisdom, may give them wisdom to govern with love and sincerity of heart. We pray to the Lord. Activity, dear children, we shall share more of the the Christmas carols. Yes, we are still in the Christmas season, so the Christmas carols are still ongoing. And by the way, dear children, the Christmas season 
goes on up to the baptism of Jesus. The day, the Sunday we shall celebrate the baptism of Jesus Christ will be the end of the Christmas season. So for now, we keep enjoying Christmas and let us have the beautiful songs, the beautiful dances, and the beautiful praises for the child Jesus. Thank you, dear children, for being part of the program. Thank you, our dear parents. To the children of Toro Diocese, you've animated so beautifully. And to everyone out there, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Thank you, all the liturgy teachers. God bless us all in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Bye-bye, dear children. Keep watching Uganda Catholic Television. Good news for all.